New numbers from Austin Public Health show an increasingly disproportionate number of people hospitalized with COVID-19 are Hispanic. Take a look at this chart. It shows the percentage of COVID-19 hospitalizations by race and ethnicity. This is since March. The green line shows the number of people who are Hispanic hospitalized. And you can see that it has been on an upward trend. Last week, 63% of all people hospitalized for COVID-19 in Travis County were Hispanic. For context, Travis County's population is 34% Hispanic. Paul Saldana with community group ABLA wants to see more outreach to the Hispanic community. If you continue to see an increase in Latinos and Hispanics overrepresented and in the, in the, in the people who are being affected and hospitalized with COVID, then clearly what we've been doing for the last five or six weeks is not working and something needs to change. And our Alyssa Gore joins us now. You have been looking into these numbers for us, Alyssa. What do we know so far about how often people who are Hispanic are testing positive for the virus that causes COVID-19? Well, Sydney, Austin Public Health has some data from their drive-through testing site. Overall, that site is seeing a, de a decrease in the rate of people testing positive with only 2.3% testing positive in the last few weeks. By comparison, 6% of the Hispanic residents they're tested positive. Austin's interim health authority, Dr. Mark Escott, believes this means pockets of the Hispanic community are experiencing higher rates of the spread of the virus. This squares with reports from across the country, which indicate that minorities are being disproportionately impacted by COVID-19. And Alyssa, what do health leaders think is the cause? Why is this so disproportionate? Well, Dr. Escott explained to county commissioners that people of color in Austin are more likely to work in jobs where they'd have to interact face to face with people putting them more at risk. The health authority also says that these communities have historically lacked access to effective health care and are more likely to live with multiple generations in a household, which also increases the risk. Austin Public Health says it is working on a media campaign to get health information to the Hispanic community in particular. The group Hispanic Advocates Business Leaders of Austin tell me they want to see local governments partnering with community groups to make that happen. All right, really important context. Alyssa, thanks for looking into it for us.